Hey, this is John Young. Today, we're going to be looking at circular saw blades, or in this case, it's a miter saw here from Craftsman. And the, the idea with this is that a miter saw will allow me to cut consistently at a degree angle and do some really nice fine cuts for building cabinetry and things, doing trim work. Now, the blades is, becomes the, the kind of a, a concern because there's a variety of blades out there for circular type saws and I wanted to kind of talk about a few of them today. First off, I've got a seven inch and these are all blades that would that would function on a saw like this. This particular one has a seven and a quarter inch which means it's seven and a quarter inch across across the blade and it has a five eight five eighths inch bore in the middle. So these blades are going to fit that type of saw. There's blades out there that look like this. This is not meant for wood. This is a masonry blade if you're doing tile or cutting brick. Um, and they will say on it, concrete block brick masonry. But this is a, a masonry blade for cutting those types of, of devices or those types of things, where it is a thin, a fairly thin blade, about the same distance. It, does, it just doesn't have that kind of a kerf uh, tip, which we'll look at, at the, on the wood blades. But this one has kind of a diamond studded uh, coating so it can go and cut through blocks uh, much easier. Uh, this one I purchased, I have not used it yet because I've had smaller, uh, smaller needs, so we haven't used that one. Now this particular blade that's on here is a seven and a quarter, but it's a 40 T, which means that there's 40 teeth that go around this particular blade. Now that's, that's kind of a, a fairly fine tooth. The, the teeth on this are kind of a, a little bit smaller. This is going to give us kind of the best crossover between speed of cut and fineness of cut. Let me show you what I mean by that. I've got a couple of blades here. There's one and there's a couple back here. This particular one is actually a little bit, for a little bit smaller saw. It's a, a for a six and a half inch, which you could use it there. It has a six and a half inch. The bore and such, it doesn't say on this one, but it's the same five eighths as all of the other ones are. Now what this one is, it's a 24 tooth. That means that there's 24 teeth going around the outside. And this one's considered a fast combination. I don't remember where this one came from or why I have it. If we take a look at that, if you can look really, let me see, there you can go. You can kind of see how the teeth are kind of going to the left and the next one goes to the right. That gives us a little bit of a wider kerf so that the blade won't bind as we're going and making our cut. That's what wood blades will have is that, that tooth pitch going to each side. This particular one is a 24 tooth, so there's 24 teeth. It's meant more for, as the picture shows, a faster cut. So if you're cutting two by fours for framing, something like this would be your choice. This particular one isn't a carbide tip, it's just a straight steel blade. I'm really not sure why I have this one, but I do. It was probably a bulk thing that came with some stuff. Uh, this particular one has, let's just, this is a, getting into the seven and a quarter. If we take a look, that it is get, its teeth are even more aggressive. So this one's going to be even a little bit faster cut going through two by fours, two by sixes. But this particular one, I don't know if I'll get up here so you can see the, you can see that it's got the pitch. We'll turn it a little bit and you can kind of see that, I'm maybe bring the light up a little bit. You can see that the tips of the, of the little saw blade here, the teeth, have got a little piece of metal on that. This one is a carbide tip, tip blade. So it was going to have a little bit longer life in it than just a steel blade. Price-wise, they're actually not that much different to get a carbide-tipped saw blade. And this is ideally what a person would want because if you hit uh, a, a nail, as an example, it's not gonna ruin the blade. If I hit a nail with a steel one, it's pretty much the, blade's, the blade is gonna be done cutting. I mean, it will still cut, but now you're burning your way through. So this one has fewer teeth, carbide tipped, so this would be the one I would probably optimally use when I'm cutting two by fours for framing or two by sixes for framing a wall. It's gonna give me the best longevity because of the carbide tips, and it's going to give me the fastest cut. Now, if I want a finer cut, like what I'm going to be doing with the project where I'm gonna be building face places, face plates for that shower stall, I'm gonna to wanna to have a blade that has a little bit of, has a little bit better, more of a finish look to it. Now this particular one is a finished blade. It still has, uh, does it give us a number here? So we'll just count here. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is a 24, but it is designed just a little bit differently. So it's going to give you 
a slower cut. It's not going to be quite as aggressive. If we take a look at, let's see, we can see this. I'm going to tip that back up again. Maybe that'll give us a little bit more light here. We can see that there's a little bit of a, a, a tip from left to right on the teeth so that they have that, uh, they can create that curve. It's a little bit narrower curve also. Carbide tipped on that. So this is going to give us a slower cut, but it's more probably for more of a plywood type would be your best option for a blade like this. And it would work for what I'm trying to do. But the one actually I'm going to be getting into is if I had a six and a half, I'd be using the DeWalt there, which I'm not going to get into that. That's actually going for a different video. But this is the blade I'm going to be using. It is also a 40, a, T, a 40T. So it's got 40 teeth as this does. But the teeth are just a little bit smaller, a little, and it has has more of that that kind of a finer finishing uh, detail on this particular one, and it's a very thin, a thin blade. Where this one is is a little bit thicker. I have a little bit thinner blade here, and I think I'm just going to get a little bit cleaner cut. Ideally, for what I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be using some very fine, uh, some some fine finished boards that I'll be putting running with this is that I'd probably look at maybe above more than a 40 if I could find something like that uh, from my local hardware store. But I want to have something that's going to give me the best cut, but yet not going to burn where it's going too slow, where it's going to burn in the wood. So I think a blade like this is going to give me the kind of the optimal cut speed as far as I'm not after a really good speed, but I wanted a consistent moving through the board cut that's not going to burn and it's not going to give me the little frayed edges and such, which you might get with a more aggressive blade, such as jumping back to our, our 18 tooth blade. That one is going to leave kind of the edges a little rough and frayed, whereas I want to have a nice clean, so I'm going to go to a 40. And again, the 40 that's in here is going to get you there. I just want to do a little bit better in my cut, so we're going to try to put a little bit finer tooth uh, a tooth system, a different tooth system, I should say, into the uh, into the saw. So just a couple of things when you're looking at saws, not all blades are created equal. Uh, people have done some videos on these where they really gone into in depth and showing you different cuts and stuff. Just keep in mind that that the more teeth, the slower it will cut most of the time, but it'll give you a cleaner, finer cut than it will with one that has fewer teeth. And carbide tipped is definitely the way to go. It's not that much more expensive, but it's going to give you a much longer saw blade life. This is John Young. Thank you for watching. For more tips and how-to videos, go to weekendhandyman.com.